Well, thank you all for joining me again today. I've got another fun one in store for us. So, on today's episode, we're going to be doing a full uh, full restoration, or in this case, we're going to be doing a full rescue. And this is our project we got here. As you can see, she's going flat on that one side. She's falling apart in the corners down there. Boars coming out. Uh, I guess we're putting in a new one of these. Transom has seen better days. So I'm going to get started by uh, washing her down, getting her all cleaned up. I'm going to fully inflate it, pressure check it to see where all the leaks are, and then we're going to do some assessment to see what exactly needs to be replaced here. So let's get started. All right, so now that we've got it all cleaned up, let's get the transom all taken apart there and get it ready for the removal. Alright, so now as you guys can see, we've got all that stuff taken out. Now we can see what they were hiding. It's not looking too pretty, that's for sure. Transom fell out. 
pull this up. Jesus loves me. So, let's continue pulling this transom out and do this the right way. All right, so now that I've beaten and chiseled all this epoxy crap out of the way, I've got the fabric somewhat loosened. Ah. I'm now going to deflate the tubes and uh, try to pull this transom out. I've got the heat gun pulled out so I can loosen up the old glue there so I can get all these transom mounts taken off because the transom is being a little difficult since it's been epoxied in place. Okay, let's assess the damage here. Boy, I think we use more epoxy than anything to keep this thing together. Let's check the boat out here. Look at this. Now that I got the transom all taken out, let's pull the floor out now.
All right, so now that I've got the floor all ripped out here, I'm now just gonna go around and go through the tube and see where all the leaks are so this way we can get all that stuff addressed and taken care of before we put the floor back in and install a new transom. All right, so using a pen, I'm back. So using my pencil, has been taken out, the transom's taken out, and now before we can do anything else, we've got to fix all the leaks in this tube. We've got one leak there from this faulty patch. Uh, I got another leak right there. Here, this is, looks like it's from all that epoxy. Got some cleaning up to do. And then, at the very bottom here, we've got an abrasion. So, I'm just gonna now start doing the repairs that need to be done here, and once that's done, we'll start building the transom and getting everything else ready to be put back together. So let's get started. I'm going to pull up my heat gun now and start removing this old patch and start getting this area all prepped for the new patch that's going to be in place. Because the tear exceeds over two inches, it's going to require an inner patch. Using my Dremel tool, I'm going to get the surfaces all roughed up on the inside so the glue has something to bite onto. Using MEK or acetone, I'm going to clean the surfaces and remove any contaminants so the glue has no chances of failure. Just going to rough up the surfaces a little bit more here and get everything all ready for the glue application. Yeah. 
I'm going to get this inner patch all roughed up here and get it ready for the glue application. Just going to get everything marked off so I know where the patch is going to be laid out. And one last wipe down with the MEK or acetone before we start the glue application. Remember to follow the manufacturer's directions when applying the glue. Once you've done the glue application, let's now install the patch, get it all lined up. Once you've got the inner patch set in place, use a hard roller and burgeoning tool and apply as much pressure as possible. If you're dealing in cooler climates, pull out the heat gun and heat up the surfaces that you just glued and apply as much pressure after it's been heated up and this way will help with the bonding process. And we're going to repeat the process for the outer patch. And I'm going to do these two final little patches here so we can get this tube all sealed up so we can get ready for the floor preparation and the transom installation. Well, this is turning into to be a fun little project I got myself into. Not really. This one's fighting me every step of the way. Especially when uh, people use epoxy to tra uh, glue their transoms in place. Do not do that. Do not do that. Because us technicians yeah yeah but yeah I hope you're all enjoying the video here I'm gonna get the transom all made up here so we can do the finale here and get this boat put back together so yeah make sure you hit that like button if you're enjoying your enjoying all this stuff that I'm doing for you guys Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Stay safe and happy boating. Thanks for watching, everybody.